we don't have anybody to remove the window. We don't have the forklift. We don't have the people to close the hole. I have no idea what we're gonna do. We're this is Charlotte's stretching in the morning. And then this is Charlotte's friend. And Charlotte refuses to brush her hair this morning. Brigade Pizzeria number two is coming, as you might know. Grace and I own a pizzeria. Now we're opening a second one. I wanted to bring you there and show you where we're gonna open the new brigade. So you'll feel the space and see where we're going with this. And then we can talk a little more about the problem we had this week. Stay tuned because it was crazy. It's, it's been a tough week. Anyhow, let's just put it that way for now. You're gonna have a good day today. Hey, don't forget to eat your vitamins. Oh, I have a song for Cookie. Cookie says, happy, happy, happy Doug. Cookie's a happy, happy Doug. She likes to eat underwear and everywhere. She is happy, happy Doug. My hair in the trash is from my brush. I peeled it off. Oh, you brush your hair. Show me, sir. Wow, wow. Looking good now. Looking good. Hey, hey, okay. Let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt. This ain't a phone. Grind never stopping. I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You're supposed to be this close to me. And hopefully, you in the stand. G.O.D. Maybe this cold and I'm talking like no. So everything is going in the corner right here. So the oven's going there. White tile, the pasta machine, table to work with, the sink to wash your hands. The counter's coming here. So we got beer, pasta, and pizza here. That's gonna be amazing. Nice terrace, usually the stable here and stuff. So in eight years that we have Brigade Stanley Montreal, hard as we were on track to expand and everything, things just got very, very ugly. Um, now it's a new start and then we're very excited by this. And then people are gonna be able to come over, get the same menu as they get at Brigade Montreal, but they're also gonna have uh, be able to choose from the beer menu from Tall Tech Brewery which is in the same location and we're sharing the space all together. So you can get great beer, you can get great pizza. It's gonna be a party place. We don't have anybody to remove the window. We don't have the forklift. We don't have the people to close the hole. I have no idea what we're gonna do. We're well, it's been a few days now that it happens. We bought an oven. That's a very heavy oven, it's 3,900 pounds. And our oven was shipped from the United States and it got stuck at the border at the transport location since December 1st. We had a contractor that was supposed to bring in the oven and everything. And unfortunately, our contractor called us to say that, well, he didn't have the manpower to bring in the oven. The same day, the transport company called me to tell me that they were gonna charge me $175 a day for the time that the oven was staying there. So basically, I had no other choice than bringing the oven in. We don't, we don't know how to bring in an oven of 3,900 pounds from a truckload into a location. And even if we did, it was not simple. We had to remove two panel windows, five feet by 10 foot tall. We had to bring in a lift to pick the 3,900 pound oven, bring it to the floor, and then drive this into the restaurants, drop it down. There's a time constraint because everybody's leaving for vacation this week. And the oven has to get in because these people are coming back mid-January. So we start cracking the phone, we start calling everywhere. We got a guy that could actually remove the window, however, he could not put them back. I need to close the hole, so we called a lot of people, emergency people, well, none of them wanted to do it. So finally, my dad found somebody that he actually knows. And then this guy is coming on Wednesday. We got the window people coming. The lift that we got through miracle from somebody that we knew, though. We finally did it, guys. There's nothing impossible if you don't give up, nothing. It's coming in tomorrow. I'm crossing my finger. Please send us some positive vibe. Uh, by the time you see this video, it might already be done anyway, but I'm gonna film the delivery of the oven and I'm gonna show you that in the next video. So uh, you're gonna see the, you know, delivery of the majestic, huge Hass oven into our new brigade number two. Never give up. Yeah. Right? Charlie's been home for three days now. Two four. Days? Well, four, that was the weekend, but she missed two days of school because she was very, very sick and she had a lot of boogie boogie in her nose. But now it's good. So I had a good idea, it's 8.30. I said, Charlotte, go prepare for your bath. And I said, do you want to bring toys? She said, yes. So basically she spent half an hour looking for toys for her bath. And what she got so far is this. I don't know why she wants hammer for a bath, but she got a turtle, a zebra. Charlotte, what are you looking for, baby? Uh, toys. But what kind of toys? You already had some. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> do you feel this? 
<laughs> my dad gave us those kind of structure, you know, there's a fort structure thingy. So we built one all around the bath. So now Charlotte's in there and I gave her some candle in the bath. And then look inside here. Ooh, and she got her toys like she wanted. There we go. Enjoy. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. Thank you. Have a nice day. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.